and hello guys welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a custom tree so the first thing you will want to start with is making um, a pillar and this is gonna determine how large and high your tree is gonna be so if you got this then I will be making my so long um, then you start off by making like the, the roots kind of thing and make it making it a bit thicker um, on the bottom then um, to like link it a bit together you want to use a bit of stairs and slabs glue nets with it just go nuts with it and it will look good. Then we are gonna start off um, on making the, the leaves and the and yeah the uh, <laughs> forgot how to uh, how they are called but yeah the leaves and the branches that's what it's called um, on the tree. So if you got like, just make it in a lot of random directions, don't make them too thick like here. And don't don't make them all the same, it will look a bit repetitive. Like this, this is gonna be a good um, start. You can also put um, like fences around the branches if you want for say a... Uh, uh, dead tree or so, um, but when you're gonna put leaves on it, it will look a bit weird. Weird. Um, so yeah. Then we're gonna put on the leaves. You want to almost hide all the branches. You might think, oh no, uh, now I can't see my beautiful branches, but uh, they s they will stick a bit through. So uh, what you first uh, want to do is like make a ball like shape and hide all the branches um, and then afterwards you can like roughen it out a bit and add some more leaves if the, the shape of your leaves isn't good. So yeah, like this is this isn't really uh, beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna add a bit more leaves. You can sometimes just break some of the branches if they are in the way and they don't look good. Because yeah, you'll actually not really see them that good. So yeah, now you got a custom tree. This, this is a pretty pretty small design. You can uh, also add trap doors. I almost forgot to tell you that. Uh, but yeah, this pretty small design. Uh, I'm gonna change it this way. Um, so yeah, pretty small, but uh, still effective. Um, then we're gonna now move on to like around the tree. You can put some coarse dirt and some logs to kind of represent um, roots and um, you can also use a bit of stairs for the roots but don't forget to then fill out the logs under some of the some of the slabs uh, slabs themselves don't really look good um, if you're gonna use them as roots because uh, they go a bit too low but you can use them but I myself don't really think they look so good 
So I'm going to change this out for stir. Uh, let me just leave that alone. Um, then we can put some orc dirt around the tree. To make it a bit better. Uh, you can use kind of every type of leaves and uh, bark. I would uh, recommend using um, the full side bark, the, the logs with on all sides bark. Um, okay, this was uh, a oak tree. You can also, for this design, you can also use uh, azalea trees. They look pretty good with this design. Um, oak, birch, um, dark oak, yeah. Uh, and now, but now I'm gonna move on to acacia uh, because they have kind of a yeah a banana shaped um, log. So with acacia, you just want to do the same and make kind of the shape. Then you're gonna be making the the roots through with acacia because it's kind of have a has a root. Uh, color of um, bark. You uh, you will need to use blocks that are not really wood, like inside and um, yeah, inside that kind of stuff. Just grab and in, inside things. So yeah, it will look a bit weird, but it still looks good. Could also also not um, make slabs and all a part of it. I'm gonna do that here, but you can do that. And then we're gonna add in the leaves. Acacia. Yeah, um, because it's a plains biome, the leaves will look kind of. Um, more luscious than in a real acacia, but it still works. With acacia, acacias don't really have any yeah, big branches, you can see as far as I know. Um, so yeah, don't really have to use it. it. And I'm not saying you can't use this for the um, as slabs and all. Of course, it doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't really fit with the kind of design. Sometimes you will need to, um, acacia trees, kind of enforce uh, the logs a bit to make it uh, look a bit less wonk. So yeah, it's a custom acacia tree. Now we're gonna move on to custom spruce trees. Yay! Spruce trees are my <laughs> spruce trees are my uh, favorite kind of tree. So you're gonna do basically actually the same as the um, oak trees with the stem and that kind of things. I would recommend using dark oak instead of um, uh, spruce slabs and all. Um, because it fits a bit more with the uh, thing, with the logs. I also I always uh, forget words. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Um, I would recommend making uh, spruce spheres a bit a bit big because in real life they are pretty big. So yeah. And now uh, the leaves with this have a bit um, weird pattern. You will start off, you can best start off with a small bit. I would uh, say a tree by tree with then some around like this then 
I'm gonna want to place blocks here and I make a bit bigger of a platform yeah, platform a uh, piece of um, piece of leaves then and then from there you want to make it um, smaller and smaller oh yeah uh, make sure to um, hide the logs with leaves uh, every time so now we're gonna make it um, smaller and smaller until we don't have anything left so yeah um, this isn't like a, a, such a big tree so it will be a bit uh, it will not be so easy to hide it so I will be ending the tree here look it's a little spruce tree so yeah those were these trees now I'm gonna now I am gonna make some small ver versions of this I will be starting with the spruce so this is a bit uh, a bit easier of a design I s um, I don't know where I got this this design from but I saw it um, like uh, three years ago so a long time uh, but I like this design pretty good for making like little trees inside of your house then the oak tree uh, this will be a, a really tiny tree so, so this is a really tiny design but I have a bit of a bigger design also So yeah, if you want to make a miniature forest or something, you can make it with that. And then the acacia tree, we're gonna be using walls. Because from afar, these walls can look like um, acacia. Acacia. Look, it's a little acacia tree. Can, yeah, I think that looks a bit better. So yeah, those are some cool designs for trees. Uh, and now I uh, still have some designs left for mushrooms because they're kind of trees, kind of. So yeah. I'm gonna be showing um, like four or five designs. First is a l really tiny mushroom. Oh, so yeah, like this. But if you have a miniature blocks add-on or something, um, if you want some um, Java, you can get uh, there. You can get it from Vanilla Tweaks. And uh, this is one of Foxy No Tail. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to find the miniature blocks for a mushroom. And it'll just be mushroom. So yeah. So yeah, that's an, a, a um, one that's even mi more miniature. Now, one who is a bit bigger like this and yeah you can make it like two blocks or something both are pretty good um, and for the brown mushroom it's kind of the same and for the red mushroom you can make them um, make them a bit more like minecraft has them and make them a bit more like this so yeah, uh, that's kind of it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and <laughs> I have a mushroom on my head now, now again, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, 
and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!